Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Maximum Width of a Binary Tree. It is a medium. Let's get started. Given the root of a binary tree, return the maximum width of a given tree. The maximum width of a tree is the maximum width among all levels. The width of one level is defined as the length between the end nodes, the leftmost and rightmost non-null nodes, where the null nodes between the end nodes that would be present in a complete binary tree extending down to that level are also counted into the length calculation. It is guaranteed that the answer will be in the range of a 32-bit integer, so we don't really need to be worried about integer overflow. Example 1, we have 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, null, and 9. So here the first level, the width is 1, then 2, and then 4. Had 2 had a left child, since it's present between two null, null nodes, so 5 and 9, um, we would include that and we would get a max width of 4. Example 2, we have 1, 3, 2, 5, null, null, 9, 6, null, then two more nulls from 3's right, and two more from 2's left, and then 7, so we would have 6, and five nulls in between them with a 7 at the end, outputting a total of 7. Example 3, we have 1, 3, 2, 5, here the widths are 1, then two, and then just one. So the max width would be at level two, and we would output two. So there are two parts to this problem. First, we want to know how to do a level order traversal, and then we want to find the width at each level. And we already know how to do a level order traversal. I have that linked down below. Make sure you go watch it and fully understand it. It's a seven minute video, take your time, and make sure you really understand it. So I'm assuming we know how to do a level order traversal. The second part is finding the max width at each level. So how are we going to do that? So how do we find the max width at every single level? One thing we could do is go level by level and basically just keep track of every single node and the null nodes in between them. And if we have child nodes, add in place nodes for those as well. But we saw in example two that sort of got confusing. We knew that three should have had a right child, and that would be null, but then it would have another two for the level below that again. So that's going to be a little hard to maintain. What else can we do? And if we can't come up with something, if it's not very intuitive, we always want to look at edge cases and go through examples. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Say we have a full binary tree, and I have one, two, three, four levels here. Now let's see what the max width here should be. Before we get even get into that, let's just see how it would be calculated given this whole tree. We have four levels in total, and at each new level, we add double the nodes from the previous level. So we have first level, root 1, whose left child is 2, right child is 3. And we have two nodes at level 2. Level 3. 2's left is 4, right is 5, 3 has 6, 7, and we have a total of 4 four nodes at this new level. And the last level, 4's left is 8, then it has right as 9, 5 is 10, 11, 6 is 12, 13, 7 is 14, 15, for a total of 8 new nodes. But what do we notice here, right? The left of our parent child is always double than our parent. So if our parent is n, the left is at 2n and the right is 2n plus 1. For example, 5, the left is 10, it's the 10th node, and the right is the 11th node of this tree. So this is sort of something we can use. If, say, our parent is n at position n, then our children would be at positions 2n and 2n plus 1. And that's a really good way to figure out width now that every single node has been assigned a position. For example, if we want to find the max width, at the very bottom level of this tree, we have leftmost node at position 8 and rightmost at position 15. And since it's inclusive, after subtracting, we do want to add that plus 1. So 15 minus 8 is 7, plus 1, because we want to include the end nodes, we would get a total of 8. And that is the max width at that level. And let's see if it works with another example. For example, 4 to 6. 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 1. 
and we would get three for the width over here. And that's exactly how we're going to solve this problem. What we're going to do is go level by level and not only append the root for each level, but also the position. So at the end of the level, all we have to do is calculate the position by subtracting the leftmost and rightmost nodes we have according to their position. Compare it if it's greater than our current max width, in which case we would replace it. And at the very end, just return our max width. So let's go ahead and code all this up and run through a few more examples to make sure we truly understand what's happening. So the code for this is very similar to our level order traversal with just a few minor changes to accommodate the positions of all the nodes. So in order to start, we're first going to define a max width. And here I'm going to say one because we know we have a non null root being passed in from constraints, which my video is sort of blocking. But we have max width being one and our current level is at first level and it holds our root and position. So current level is going to be our root node being passed in and position one. So root and position, that's sort of what we are going to keep tracking every time we add a new node. Now what we're going to do is traverse through our entire current level to figure out what level would come after. So while current level is not empty, that means there are nodes that still need processing. What we're going to do is have a new list to which we can append the next level to. So next level is going to be empty. And now we just traverse. So for root and position in current level. And actually, we can actually use root because that's being passed and we don't want to rename or override it. So we're going to do for roots and position in our current level. If the root that we are on, so if root stop left, if it exists, then we append it to next level. So next level dot append roots dot left and its position, which we know for all the lefts, it's going to be whatever position the parent is times two. So position times two. And now we do the same thing for right. So if root dot right roots next level dot append roots dot right and position times two plus one. Once we're out of this for loop, that means we have next level fully built and here it's going to hold two at position one times two, two and root three at position one times two plus one, which is also three. Something to make sure we want to append the actual tuple of root and position, not just the root and position without any bracket. We're going to get an error because we're going to be trying to append two things, which we can't do. So once this is done, well, now that we've traversed the entire next level, we can actually go ahead and find the max width. So if next level is not empty, if there were actually nodes being added to it, so if next level not empty, well, now we want to find the max width. So max width is going to be the max of what's currently there right now. So max of max width and this new maximum width that we will find. For that, we are going to do next level minus one. So the last element that was appended to next level and at index one, because we want position, right? And this is going to be minus next level index zero. Again, now we are at that first element we added to next level, but we want position because right now we're just going to get the tuple. So we want to do another index of one, all of that plus one because it's inclusive. So this is how we find max width at each level. And we just compare it to the max width we have right now in case we need to replace. At the very end, all we have to do is replace current level with next level. So here, if we had current level being two, three, or if we had next level being two, three, our current level would now be two, three. So we can process this new level that we're going to get after that. Once we are done traversing through the entire tree, all we have to do is return max width. So let's go ahead and run this code. Accepted and submit. And it is accepted as well. So space and time complexity. 
For time, we go through every single node, we do a traversal of a tree, that is O of n. And for space, we are going through every single node once again. We are basically touching on everything. It's the same as a level order traversal. So this is again O of n. And before we leave, let's run through another example to make sure we really understand how this code is running. So say I had the following example, root node being one, then three, two, a null for two, and then five, three, null, nine. This is from our very first example right here. So how is this going to work? And I'm just gonna delete the top for now so we have more room. Our max width, let's go line by line. We start with one. So max width is one. Current level is going to be our root node and position. So this is one, one. And now we're in line six. Next level is empty. And we traverse. So for this first element, we have roots one and position one. If this has a left child, we append to next level. So it does, and this would be three at position one times two. And we do the same thing for right. It does have a right child and its right child is node two at position one times two plus one. So at position three. And next level is not empty, so we find the max width. We take the last element and the element at the first um, index, so that's three, minus first element, first index, two. So three minus two plus one, and we get two. So here we have a max width of two, and we replace max width at two. And now we replace current level with next level. So this is going to be here. And next level is going to be empty again once we iterate through. So current level is not empty. We still have nodes to process. Next level is empty. And for roots position in current level. So again, we do the same thing. Three, does it have a left child? It does. Five at position two times two, four. Now next one. Three does have a right child. No, three at position two times two plus one. So that's five. Two does not have a left child, we skip it. It does have a right, so node nine, position is three times two plus one, so seven. Max width here, seven minus four, three plus one, that is four, so we place max width to be four. Current level is now next level. Next level is empty again. And now we loop through. So all of these, we would now iterate through all these roots, five, three, nine. So for root position in current level, this one doesn't have a left or right child. So we skip over to our next node, three. If roots dot left, it's not there. We move down to roots dot right, not there. And next level, we can't go into yet because we're still in the loop. So here, again, we are at node nine, no left child, no right child. We are out of this for loop here. Next level is empty, so there's no need to find a max width. Current level is now also empty, similar to our next level. That means we do not need to go into this loop again. We're done, and all we do is return max width, which is four. So that's how you solve this. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.